we found out that Scrapping Valley was up for sale from International Paper. And uh, we came and looked at it and decided we was interested in it because of the red cockaded woodpeckers, the longleaf pines, the uh, endangered species such as the Louisiana pine snake and the uh, pitcher plants. Uh, and we wanted to protect the uh, ecosystem here at uh, Scrappin Valley. Now, we set a management plan here at Scrappin Valley through the uh, service of A&M Forestry and our burn program. This year we burned probably 800 acres of it. Uh, next year we're going to try to burn the balance of it. And this year we planted 212 acres of longleaf seedlings. And we're on an 18 month rotation of burning those for the next 10 years. Uh, we have a real good management plan. So we're using uh, just the burn pots and we, we plow fire lanes around the areas we want to burn. We normally burn about 50 to 100 acres at a time and it takes, we use about four people to do the burning. We catch the humidity right, the wind right, and the temperature right and do our burns. My long-term plan here at Scrapping Valley is to pass it on to my grandkids, my children, my grandkids. My grandfather was in the timber business, my father was in the timber business, and I've been in it uh, 48 years, so I hope my uh, grandchildren continue on in it. My daughter now is involved, she owns a sawmill and involved in the planting, burning. I have planted timber in my life, thinned it two or three times, clear cut it and replanted again. So uh, I've been doing it a long time. Well, I, I'm so proud of, of re uh, planting the longleaf and redoing the system because longleaf almost was extinct. 3% of the uh, longleaf was left uh, now. So uh, I'm really proud to put the longleaf back. You think it might be just a drop in a bucket, but Every drop in a bucket helps to get the longleaf to recover in East Texas, Louisiana, through the longleaf belt. And I'm very proud to be one of them that gets it back. The longleaf belt actually runs from East Texas to Virginia. And it's a lot of, a lot of acres that's been cut out and, and the longleaf was it's destroyed. So to be part of it coming back, I'm really proud of it and hope that more of our neighbors back up Louisiana, uh, Alabama, up to that area will plant, will, will, will take our lead or, or plant longleaf. Every neighbor or person in the timber business in East Texas, I try to get them over on the longleaf side, at least part of their properties, due to the quality of the trees, the uh, economic value of uh, the poles, the it's after once the, the long leaf is mature, uh, it's to me it's worth a lot more money. There's a lot of assistance available to landowners to replant long leaf. Most of them don't know how to get the assistance, but if they'd go on the internet and uh, A&M can help them, uh, the Long Leaf Alliance can help them, but there's a lot of assistance and most people don't know about that. The Texas Longleaf team came here to Scrappin Valley and contacted me about uh, planting longleaf and explained the program to me and it was great help. And we planted 212 acres of longleaf this year with their help. They helped me get a management plan, very helpful and I advise any landowner that's interested in longleaf to contact them. Uh, the Longleaf Alliance, the Texas Longleaf team, or A&M, it's a great program, a lot of assistance.